What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today we're going to be repairing a wall patch in our drywall right here. We're going to be adding some knockdown drywall texture to this and we're going to be doing the roll on method. If you guys are new to my channel, please do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Okay, so this is the wall patch we're going to be working on today. It has been patched right here, it looks like, but there is no texture matching right here. If you can see, this is a knockdown finish on our drywall. The okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take some sandpaper and we're going to lightly scuff up the wall. Extend a little further out because we're going to have to feather the edges. Then I'm going to go ahead and dust off the area and wipe it down with a damp rag. Get any of the dirt or grease off the wall. Okay, now you're going to want to pick up some of this all-purpose joint compound. And we're just going to scoop some of this out. Now out of the container, the joint compound is usually a little too thick for texture. So we're just going to pour a tiny bit of water in there. Then we're going to mix it up. We want it to be like a really thick buttermilk pancake recipe. Kind of like soft serve frozen yogurt. All right, now I've got a 12 inch drywall knife. If you have a small patch, you could probably get away with a six inch, but we're just gonna take the mud, the joint compound. We're gonna start spreading it on our patch. We wanna feather it out so it'll be thicker in the middle and thinner on the edges. Nice, even coat. Now once we've got a nice even coat tapering out, we're going to take a regular paint roller and we're just going to roll over the texture. It's going to create these peaks. Now the smaller the nap roller, the smaller the peaks are going to be. This is probably about, I think a half inch roller, so if you want it just a little bit, get a tighter net like a 3 8 Alright, now here's a close up of the texture. So it just creates a ton of these little dimple effects like little mountain peaks. Okay, now we're going to let this set up and dry for about 10 minutes. You'll notice when it's kind of drier, it won't be as shiny. Okay, it's been about 5-10 minutes of drying. We're going to take that same 12 inch drywall knife and we're going to just slowly and l very lightly drag it. Just barely. We're just trying to knock down those peaks of the texture without really smearing the texture. So just take your time. If you do mess up, you can always just spray a little water, just a little spray bottle and re-roll it and try again but we're just going to lightly drag the knife down the texture see all these peaks and we lightly drag it it's just going to knock down all those peaks see go ahead and wipe your blade off periodically look at the surrounding texture and try and match that Okay, I finished knocking it all down. Now we're going to want to let this set up for a full 24 hours to dry. And then you're always going to want to prime raw drywall or raw drywall compound. Always prime that first before you top coat. Especially if you're doing a patch and trying to blend it in. Okay. Alright, so I finally got around to painting the room. The patch really blends in nicely. You're never really going to see it unless you're looking for these kind of patches. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY guys. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care.